hell is it that, mate? Andrew will be at home on his own. Andrew, are you all right? Yeah, I guess. Get on in. He's asleep. What's the matter? Just get him. This is a pretty neat storm, eh? Andrew. Who's there? Andrew. Andrew. What's wrong? Andrew, it's me, Honey. Honey? Honey who? Is, is this woman your grandmother? I'm Audrey Fleming, yes. What, what do you mean breaking in here like this? Look. He's mum's boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yes, I'm Honey Lopata. I work at the clinic. Andrew called me. He sounded pretty freaked out. I actually thought you were an intruder. Well, thank you for your concern, but where's Meredith? She should be here. She should have been home hours ago. Are you okay? is officially over. Meredith! Any reply? No, I don't think they can hear me. You don't think they've suffocated or something, do you? I think that's hardly likely, much. Still not working, even with the power on. No, not a flicker. Where the hell is that lift repair man? Here. Mm. You can give us a hand if you want. Nurse, what happened? Found him in the stairwell. Flame an ankle. <sighs> Take him through to examination three. I'll be there in a minute. Marge, would you like to give me another repair man? God, what a night. Chris! What concert? Uh, Metal Mayhem. But it's not just a concert, Dad. It's more of an event. The whole day of head-banging, brain-bending frenzy. <laughs> what does your mother think of brain being bent? Well, she's right into it. Oh, yeah? Pigs fly, too. <laughs> yeah, what keeps me out of trouble? <laughs> if I don't go, I'll probably spend the whole day roaming the streets and sniffing solvents. Yeah, OK, OK. How much? 30 bucks. 30 bucks? A ticket. Two would be good. Two? Hot date, major babe. She's a really nice girl, yeah, Christian. Yeah, save it for your mother. Yeah. Next time tell her you're going Dutch, eh? <laughs> Excitement's over, everyone. All systems go, all casualties cleared. Has anyone seen Sarah? Oh, uh, no, we still have one spare baby here. If uh, Nurse Burton can bring herself to part with it. The little darling cries every time I try to put her down. Uh, super baby. Seeking out evil doers wherever they may lurk. Hit the go! Keep away from this child village. She doesn't know where you've been. <laughs> hello there, cutie. Hello. Hello. Look at you guys. <laughs> Kids are fine so long as they're somebody else's. Oh, I think we're great. Uh, is this the sound of the incubator talking, Alison? Mm. Future generations of little one is on the rise. <laughs> you wouldn't think mm. about sacrificing your career just to have Chris's babies, would you? Look, I'm not going to give up nursing them when I get married. No, it's maybe one day when the time is right. Hmm. You don't want to put it off too long. Hey, Carrie. Ah, and Nurse Burton. This is Tara who's out in reception. Oh, I'll take her. Don't rush into it, Alison. Motherhood is not to be taken lightly. Is it, Marge? <laughs> hey, here we go. I'll be down in a minute. How's my mate? He'll be fine. What do they mean by a stable condition? It's not getting worse. It's generally good news. Oh, my baby, darling. Are you all right? Mrs. Please? Tahu, she's fine. It's a good thing you had that safety seat. What about my husband? Is he going to be all right? He's fine, too. Come on, I'll take you through. Bloke and a woman, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. 
How long have we been up there? Uh, about three hours. Why? Oh, they didn't seem to be making any fuss. <laughs> Maybe they don't mind being trapped, eh? Them? No chance. Oh, does that happen often? Yeah, yeah, see it all the time in my line of work. Here we go. <sighs> you took your time. Where have you been for the last three hours? These lifts out all over the city. Yeah, so a little appreciation might be nice. Did we miss anything? Only 40 clients with only one doctor on deck. Oh, what a shame. We must try it again sometime. OK, next time I'll bring the dinner. You're on. All right, I'll be at home. Beat me if I'm honest. Oh, keys. You don't think that maybe they, they did? Oh, no, no, no. Whatever it is, I'm not interested. I've had enough for one day. Want a drink? Thank you. No, I'm still on duty. Now, if you've got a moment, there's a couple of things we need to discuss. Can I wait until tomorrow? No, it can't. OK, what is it? Tonight's debacle. The backup generator, the lifts, we have to make sure a situation like this doesn't happen again. <laughs> We'd have to be pretty unlucky. Was it just unlucky? Of course it was. You're sure it's not related to your cost-cutting campaign? I'm still waiting for the doors to be changed on the toilet cubicles. Carrie, you're tired. It's been a hell of a night. Why don't you just... Yes, I am tired. But I need some assurances that something like this won't happen again. Right. I am waiting for a report on the generator, which is why I'm still here. But it had its regular maintenance check three weeks ago, so there is no question of negligence being the cause. The lifts were apparently affected by a power surge. Nothing we could do about that. The cubicle doors are being replaced next week. It took a while because the board had to approve the expenditure. Is there anything else? No. I'm sorry if I overreacted. It's all right. No need to apologise. Well, he's settled down quite a bit now. I could have managed. I'm sure you could have. Does Meredith approve of you letting yourself in at any time of the day or night? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. And since I was to come over and check on Andrew oh. to see if he was all right. Yes, of course. Well, it's very late. I should thank you for dropping by. Well, I'll leave you to it then. I'm sorry. Um, I hope I didn't hurt you before. No, no lasting damage. Good night, Dr. Reporter. Oh, is he all right? I've been stuck in a lift all night. Mum, what are you doing here? Hello, darling. Yes, he's OK. Um, he's in bed. Of course. You all right? Yeah, pretty wet, though. Yeah, look, I'm just going to get home and have some sleep, unless you want me to stay. Mm, not much point. See you tomorrow. Mm. Oh, you want me to pick up Andrew after school? Oh, oh yeah. I'll pick him up. We don't want to put Dr Repart to any trouble. No, it's all right. It's just that he asked me, that's all. Oh, in that case. OK, good night, Mrs Fleming. Nice. So, Mum, why aren't you in Europe somewhere? It's just as well I'm not. Andrew's been on his own here for hours in a storm. I told you I got stuck in the lift. Well, what if something had happened to him? Well, Mum, I didn't break the lift on purpose. Besides, Honey had enough sense to come round and check on him, so it all turned out for the best. But, but Mum, I really am tired. Look, there's a fresh towel in the hot water cupboard. Help yourself. Meredith! I'm on duty again in the morning. Wrong. Oh, you mean you're so vain. Hey, it's first day on a new job. It's got to be perfect. For heaven's sake, you look fine. Now get a move on or you'll be late. And if you're very good, there'll be something nice and hot waiting for you when you get home. Oh, yeah? Chicken casserole. Oh, will you marry me? <laughs> Did that once out. <laughs> I have fun at salt mines. The tie sucks. I love you anyway, despite the tie. Thanks. <laughs> What are you doing? Making sandwiches. Ah, uh, the butter goes on first, right? Are you sure you're my son, Nick? I thought I'd make my lunch for a change and save some money. Why? Oh, you see, there's this concert. Oh, yeah? What concert? Well, it's not really a concert. It's more like one of those hippie festivals from the old days, you remember. And what's the name of this hippie festival? Um... Not uh, Metal Mayhem, by any chance? How do you know? I can read a poster. I'll have to see what your father says. Well, he's right into it. I asked him last night and he, he gave me um, his full approval. I had saved up enough for the tickets, but now I just need to save up a bit more so I can eat, you know, stuff like that. <sighs> You're breaking my heart. 
Thanks, Mum. Now I'll only have to hitch one way. And not a penny more. Dad! Let me do that! No, I can do it. Oh. Morning, sunshine. Here you had a bit of an adventure last night. You see my keys? Oh, uh, yeah, they're on the bench. Oh. Honey attacked Grandma. It was cold. <laughs> All right, tonight, special award for bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, a medal. <gasps> or maybe takeaway. Take there's no need to bellow. Should he be eating all this junk food? Oh, Mum. Two minutes and you're walking, Carrie. Off to school. Bye, Mum. Bye, dear. See you, Mum. Bye. Bye, Grace. Hey, wait a minute. Let's have a look at this shirt. Haven't you got an ironed one, dear? No. Well, look, I'll iron this one before you go. Oh, but... no, it's OK. Mum says I can just wear my jersey over it. <sighs> Morning, Mrs Fleming. Hey, Morning. Andrew, did your mum remember your lunch money? What do you think? Oh, five dollars be enough? Well, look, you go. I'll make his lunch. Oh, well, please yourself. Bye, Andrew. Why can't I just buy a pie? Because boys who live on pies don't grow up to be like Colin Meads. I don't want to be like Colin Meads. I want to be like Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> feel and feel the wrath of Mills. Never. <sighs> <clears throat> oh, hi. Um, you must be Mrs Fleming. <laughs> I'm Sarah. This is, uh, Steve Mills. Um, of course, I do your robe up, Steve. <laughs> I, pleased to meet you, Mrs Fleming. Look, uh, if we get out of here quick enough, perhaps she'll think that she imagined us. <laughs> Is this place always like this? Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry to break this up. Oh, it's all right, Marge. This woman was making untoward suggestions, anyhow. Oh, it's lovely to see <laughs> some happy faces around here for a change. So, let's have a look at the ring. Oh, we uh, haven't picked one yet. This weekend, maybe. So when's the big day? We haven't decided that yet either. Well, it should be quite soon, I suppose. Uh, certainly before the turn of the century. Oh, well, I hope you know what you're letting yourself into. It's an enormous job, planning a wedding. Oh, we've got a couple of mothers who will love the task. It'll be like a, a military operation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when Daryl got married, we had about, ooh, 300 guests, including Diane's brother, who had to fly in from Portugal. Then there were these strikes in Australia. Excuse me, much Messages? Your insurance agent. Numbers here. Huh? And good morning to you too, Dr. McKenna. Now, as I was saying, don't on any account get a dress like Diane had. I tried to tell her. Oh, I just remembered I've got to go. I think you should stay and listen to this, Ellie. I think it sounds like very good advice. Now, this dress. Why? Gangway, you're holding up the fast lane. Morning, Michael. Morning, messages. You all right? Yeah, fine. The engineer was here at six. Apparently, the generator had contaminated diesel in the tank. They have to send to Canada for parts. How long is that going to take? Three weeks. It's no good. Get him on the phone. Oh, and the hospital board want to see the proposal for the second operating theatre. Great. On Monday. <laughs> oh, well, who needs sleep anyway? Well, what about my test results for the insurance exam? Oh, nothing yet. I can ring. No, no, leave that to me. You get on to that bozo from the generator company. A nice cup of coffee would be good. Mm -hmm. oh, I feel like I'm made of lead this morning. Oh, you dare! I hadn't a buzz. Who are you? You're supposed to die, Sarah. Oh, what is that? Look how five minutes our mistress for Bickies, hmm? I'm to have made your favourites. Peanut brownies. Do you like them too, Jared? I hate peanuts. Got any chips? No, I'm afraid not. What about Coke? Yeah. We want some coke. Hey, it seems to me that you've got two choices here. Either you have a biscuit or you starve. We'll starve. Come on, I'm confiscating all weapons. Now, it's a nice day. Go and play cricket instead. I hate cricket. It sucks. Hey, don't you talk like that, all right? Go on, scram. I can't imagine why Meredith lets Andrew associate with that boy. Well, I suppose she just doesn't care. I think she really does care. Mm. Really? Yes, really. Now, you're going to offer me a biscuit, or am I going to have to take you to the Waitangi Tribunal? <sighs> Help yourself. I don't, I don't want to die. You did it. Double sided, double spaced, five copies bound by ten tomorrow. Oh, there's a message from your doctor. Why didn't you put him straight through? Your line's been busy for the past hour. All right, sorry. Do you really need these by ten tomorrow? Afraid so. You've got a problem with that. No, 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 it's fine. You're a saint.
Yeah, hello. Barry. Gin, gin. Good, I was just going to ring you. Bring wine, lots of it. Well, there's a slight problem. I'm going to be a bit late. How late? Well, I'm if I'm lucky. I'm sorry. Last minute work. Mm. Oh, well, can't be helped. Just don't get RSI, eh? I won't. Bye. Bye. Surprise, surprise. Last minute work. It's always last minute work. You may as well get used to it. You reckon? So, what time? I'm um, rostered on till about six o'clock tonight. Oh, well, I'll see you at home then. And we should start talking about um, some wedding plans, maybe set a kick-off date. Ah, oh, you don't want to pay too much attention to what Marge was saying. Hey, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Well, yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, it doesn't have to be a big drama. You're not backing out, are you, Dr Warner? Go on, name your date. All right, we'll do it, um, tomorrow. Oh, no, we can't do it tomorrow. I'm on call tomorrow. How about the day after tomorrow? Chris, be serious. Uh, I'm only going to do this once and I want to do it properly. Monday. I'm free Monday between, uh... OK, OK, I'm just kidding. Well, how about you decide? There you can't, you see? Well, I was thinking maybe a couple of months. Two months, like, uh, Christmas? Yes. Christmas this year? Yes! All right, all right. By Christmas this year... I will have made you my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> and I will take you to the best damn wedding you ever saw. <laughs> mm, enough of this. You, back to the sick and dying. Me, to phone my mother. I'm just going to have kittens. There's so much to do. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You're telling me there's a lot to do. How about one more game before bed? Right after you brush your teeth, eh, mate? Now go and kiss your grandma good night. Mm -hmm. Night, Grand. Night, sweetheart. Well, he seems to have taken a shine to you. Oh, Andrew and I were mates well before Meredith and I got together. In fact, it was probably his idea. How long have you and Meredith, um... Not all that long. I hope you're going to take a responsible attitude. Meaning? that you're not going to start playing dad and then just disappear. Do I look like I would? I don't know what you're like. Well, why not assume the best? I intend to hang around for as long as Meredith will have me. Maybe it's because I'm Maori. That's it, huh? Oh, you can stop that nonsense for a start. If you've got some kind of chip on your shoulder, that's your problem. But Meredith and Andrew are my problem. And contrary to what you might think, it's not racist to want some stability in my family's life. Point taken. All right, point taken, but it's about time you had a talk with Meredith instead of getting at me. Point taken. Point taken. I'm afraid Dr. Horrocks isn't on this number, Dr. McKenna. He'd like you to call him on 743-2001. Is this about my test results? I'm sorry, I really don't know. But he said it was urgent. That's what he told me. OK, thank you. Done. Michael? Sorry? I said they're done. You all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Thanks, that's great. You go home now. Mm, I will. Oh, well, Jen, just close the door behind you, will you? Sure. Uh, yeah, is uh, Melanie Kirk there, please? For how long? Okay, well, could you take a message? Chris Warner, could you tell her uh, to phone me at work urgently, please? Oh, and put not at home under any circumstances. She'll understand. Yeah. Tough. You know, if I was Marge Nielsen, I'd put two and two together and get four legs under a duvet. <clears throat> well, just as well you're not, because you'd get the wrong idea. Honest. Honest? Look, Meredith, the last thing on earth I want to do is hurt Alison. The last thing on earth. Woman. Mm, what's eating you? Chantel's gone to middle mayhem with some geek. All because he's got a clapped out panel van. You, know, you see, the thing with my... That's a high tackle, you dopey sod. You see, the, the, the thing with women is you never let them know you're interested. The more you ignore them, the more they love you. <laughs> yeah, um, drown your sorrows. So? So, she really spins your wheels, eh? Well, she's all right. Pretty cute. Yeah. She's really nice. Okay. What's going on here? Smells like a brewery. Nick, are you drinking? 
It's my first one. I gave it to him. Oh, that makes it so much better. Make bed now. It's only ten o'clock. Then homework or something. Can on the table. Here we go. Please keep the screaming to a minimum. There won't be any screaming. Well, this is a fine example you're setting, Nick. Oh, look, don't you get on your high horse with me. I mean, what do you care? You, you spend all your time at work rather than here with your bloody family. I'm tired and I'm going to bed. Just tidy up when you're finished, all right? Wasn't all this stuff meant to be bad for me? I don't care. Growing boys need eggs. Oh, Mum, you don't need to do that. Well, it won't sort itself. Sake. Mum, can I go over to Jared's? When you finished your breakfast. I've finished now. Go on then. I really don't like that, Jared. Oh, Andrew will get sick of him. I give it another fortnight, Max. Oh, thanks for doing him breakfast. It was a good thought. <sighs> yes, well, there's no reason why he should go without, just because you're too busy. It's been a pig of a week. Yeah. <sighs> Meredith, it's not the point. You can't just dump him at home with some man you hardly know. Meaning honey? Meaning honey, yes. And your flatmates. I mean, they're all very nice, but... Look, he's not just some hobby you can pick up and put down on a whim. Well, that's how you view things, is it? Look, when I went overseas, I thought you could cope. But now... Look, Mum, I'm trying my best. Well, if what I've seen is the best you can do, then maybe he'd be better off with me. This is pathetic. Cardiac investigation unit. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, it seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance of a dream. Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Sean and Street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Sean Street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.